little bit of controversy with today's video. I want to talk about the myth of foreign key indexes. Now, if you go out, every database blog, pretty much you can go out there, it's going to say the most important thing you have to do on a database is make sure you index your foreign keys. If you don't index your foreign keys, then it will be fire and brimstone. You know, you'll have locking problems, you'll have performance problems, you'll have all sorts of dramas. I want to pitch this to you in a different way. I want you to treat foreign key indexes like any other index, and that is you only ever add an index when the benefits of doing so outweigh the costs of doing so. And I've got an entire podcast episode on this, but I thought we'd shrink it down to a nice, simple set of rules for you for the sake of a short video. So let's talk about why you might or might not need a foreign key index on a parent-child table relationship. There's only two rules you need to worry about. The first rule is, do you mess with the parent primary key? Now, what do I mean by messing with the primary key? If you delete a parent row, then you're removing a primary key, and therefore that means you're messing with it. So yes, it's very likely you'll need a foreign key index on the child table. Do you update the primary key? Now, you might be thinking, well, that just means bad design. The, the definition of a primary key is something that's immutable. You don't need to update it. But let's be pragmatic. Sometimes you do need to change a primary key because um, you know, something was wrong about your definition. Probably more likely is some applications often update every single column when they're doing a row update, including the primary key, even though it's not changing. That still counts as updating the primary key. Therefore, you would need a foreign key index on the child table. The second example is, does the index on the child table, the foreign key index, help with performance? So in that instance, it's not really specialized to a foreign key index. It's simply an indexing decision. But they're the only two rules. Do you mess with the primary key or do you need it for performance on the child table? Let's look at some examples here. Let's say I'm running a retail site and I've got a customer's table, which is a parent of the orders table. Would I be doing any of the things that mandate a foreign key index? First of all, customers and orders. Would I mess with the customer primary key, say a customer ID? Well, probably not, but it's a very good chance you may choose to delete a customer. Now, for most customers, they may close their account over time and you might just flag them as being logically closed and keep the record. So in that case, we wouldn't need the foreign key index on the orders table. However, you might be subject to say GPDR requirements, which means after 12 months of someone closing their account, you must physically expunge their records. You must explicitly delete that customer record. Yep, you'll need that foreign key index for that. Or it's more likely is someone's gonna come along as a customer and say, show me my orders. So they're gonna do queries against the orders table for their given customer number. That probably means for simple index performance reasons, you're gonna to want to keep that foreign key index on the orders table, which points back to the customers table. In my same application, I may have a product to order items relationship. Customers log on, they make an order. With those orders, they add order items, which are products. I log on to a retail website, I buy a phone, I buy a laptop, etc. These are all order items which link back to a set of available products on my website. Am I ever going to delete from the products table? I would probably say no, because more than likely is even if a product is no longer going to be sellable or available on my site, I'm gonna to wanna to keep the potentially millions of order items that have previously been made for that product. I need it for audit purposes, regulations, you know, GPDR, et cetera. It's very, very rare that I would physically delete an order if it's got any order items at all. More likely is I'll have some sort of logically deleted flag on there. So I could probably make an argument that I would never delete from the product table. So, so far, I do not need a foreign key index. Would I query the order items table by product? Maybe, maybe not. In most applications, it would be unlikely. Customers would come in and they would go drive down from customer to order to order items. It would be pretty rare except for uh, long running trend analysis programs to show me what are the total sales per product. And in those such situations, it's unlikely I'd want to use an index anyway. If I'm doing show me product sales for the whole year, for the whole decade, I'm probably gonna be doing full table scans anyway and an index won't assist because of the volume of records. So in this particular situation, I may not need the foreign key index. 
ultimately what I'm saying is the concept of I have a foreign key relationship, I must immediately put an index, I think is a flawed argument. There's nothing particularly wrong with it, but you're probably going to be over-indexing your applications. For me, I like to think of you know, uh, indexing as the Goldilocks principle. You need not too many, not too few, you need just the right amount. And just because you have a foreign key relationship is not justification enough to force you to put that index on there. Make an intelligent decision to get the best out of your application. Mm -hmm.